Welcome back to Tech yeah, City Lads. This is Bear Rutt and Easy coming back to you guys today with a video on AMD. Uh, anyway, I'll stop there. I'll take these sunglasses off. Welcome back, guys. I'm going to be testing today core parking uh, versus no core parking on the 8 core FX 8320. Now, I'm also going to throw in a 4 module 4 core versus 4 module 8 core comparison. So, some people have said if you disable 4 cores, the uh, games, some single threaded or dual threaded games might run a little bit faster, so I'm going to test that as well. And anyway, let's get on with the results. So basically the reason I'm doing this also is because I want to get, I want to find out what works best for the 8 core before I get into the head to head benchmarks with the Intel. So anyway, let's get on with the results. The first, res the first result is core parking with Battlefield 4. Now this is 1440p and Ultra. We had, first off, we turned core parking off. And the average was 101.68. We then turned it on, which is the default, so we turned it back on, and it was 102.08 frames. Basically, it made no difference at all in Battlefield 4. And this is a game that utilizes eight threads, by the way. So let's move on now to Skyrim, uh, core parking with Skyrim. This is a CPU intensive game, so I really wanted to test this as well. So between Battlefield 4 and Skyrim, we kind of get the best of both worlds, one that uses 8 threads, one that is CPU intensive, and what we had here was we had 109.04 frames with core parking off versus 108.92, so there's just absolutely no difference between the two. Uh, honestly, just leave core parking on it, the default, it makes no difference at all. Uh, it's just a placebo thing that and maybe some websites want to make money off you by selling your program I don't know anyway let's look at now four modules four cores versus four modules and eight cores so some people have said on the internet that if you disable four cores and you only use four modules with four cores you can get better results in some CPU intensive games so we tested it with 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 Skyrim at 1440p on ultra and with the four with the default setting of four cores uh, four sorry four modules eight cores we had 108.92, and then we turned off four of the cores, I think it was core 2, core 4, core 6, and core 8, and we had 104.48 frames per second. So uh, basically you want to leave this on, I mean you don't want to fiddle with the way the CPU works. Uh, as we saw there, we saw a little bit of a drop in FPS. And then we look at Star Wars, a game that I think actually utilizes 8 threads. I'm not too too sure on this, but I know it is a CPU-intensive multiplayer game, or it's a little bit CPU-intensive. And what we had here with 4 modules and 8 cores, we had 80.52 frames, so this was at 1080p on Ultra. And we had 80.52 frames with the default settings. And then with the disabled cores, we had 73.36. So we had a drop in FPS again as well. So let's pull up. So in conclusion, if anyone's telling you that core parking makes a difference, then just uh, just point them to this video because I'm telling you now, core parking doesn't make a fucking difference. Uh, the four modules, four cores thing, you don't want to touch that. You just want to leave it on four modules and eight cores, the way AMD intended the CPU to be used. So that settles that. And I'm going to put my Wayfarers back on and get the hell out of here. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment in the comment section below. And also, if you haven't already, subscribe to Tech Yes City, where I'll be getting some more sunglasses and looking like a douchebag and doing more videos. Anyway, guys, peace out for now. Baranazi, bye.